Hi, my name is Mike Coleman. I'm a developer advocate on the LightSail team here at Amazon Web Services. And today I'm going to take you through a video that shows you some of the capabilities of Amazon LightSail. But before we get started, I just wanted to let you know that you don't have to try to do everything at the same time that I'm doing it on the screen. We've got a written guide in the description below that you can go and download. And then after the video, you can go try it all on your own. So let's get started. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can install a Minecraft server on your Amazon LightCell instance. So we're here on the LightCell homepage and we're going to get started by clicking Create Instance. From there, we need to make a decision about where we want to run our Minecraft server. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to choose Oregon. Now you'll notice that we have regions all over the globe. You should pick one that's close to where you live. Next, we'll choose our operating system. Scroll down and I'm going to click on Ubuntu and that's the operating system I'm going to use to install the Minecraft server. So from there, the next decision is what size instance to use. And we offer instances in a variety of sizes based on CPU, RAM, disk size, and network throughput. For Minecraft, I'm gonna go ahead and use this $5 instance here. So I'll click on the $5 instance, and then we'll scroll down and we'll give our instance a name. I'm just gonna call it Minecraft. From there, I click Create Instance, and we'll wait for that to boot up. Now that the server's up and running, I'll click the name, and then I'm gonna go into the networking tab because I need to adjust the firewall rules. So we'll scroll down, we'll click add rule, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up a port for the Minecraft server. So it uses 25565. That's the port that the Minecraft client needs to connect to over the internet to reach the server. So we have to open it up in the firewall. So click create, and that's done. So our instance is basically ready. Now what we need to do is add the software. So let's connect to it using SSH. And I'm gonna use the apt command to update all the running packages, as well as install the Java Runtime Engine and something called Screen. The Java Runtime Engine is necessary because the Minecraft server is written in Java. And so the engine will be what powers the application. Screen will allow us to keep that server running once we disconnect our SSH session. So there we go. Let's go ahead and go into screen. And the first thing we're going to do is create a couple subdirectories, one for the Minecraft server, and then we're going to go into that directory, users slash game slash Minecraft, and we're going to grab the binaries for the Minecraft server off the Minecraft website. And now we're going to go ahead and try to run it. So we'll use the Java command, pass in that MC server jar, and see what happens. Okay, we get an error. That's because we haven't accepted the end user license agreement. So let me go ahead and change the ownership on that file using the chown command, chown ubuntu eula.txt. And then we're going to go ahead and echo into that file eula equals true. That way, when the Minecraft server starts up, it'll check that file, it'll see that we've accepted the eula, and we can go on from there. So let's go ahead and eula.txt, and let's start the server up again using the Java command line and passing in that jar file. And it looks like everything's loading up, so let's give this a second to finish. All right, the server's done. I'm gonna disconnect from the screen session. I'm gonna use Control A and then D. Now, if I type screen-ls, you can see the session is still there, it's still running. It's there at 1441-pts-0-blah, blah, 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 blah. Let's go ahead and reconnect to that session, screen-r1441. You can see it's right where we left it, so. So let's go back to the home page. Let's grab our IP address and move into the Minecraft client. We'll do multiplayer here off the main menu, and then we're going to say add a server. We'll type in our IP address from the light cell server, click done, and then we're going to go ahead and join that server. So we'll click join server and give this a second. And there you go. We've successfully connected to the Minecraft server running on a light cell instance. All there is to do now is to go out and create. So once you go out, fire up a light cell instance, download Minecraft, and start having some fun.